Hello, welcome to the next in our sequence of videos. This one is designed for approaching junctions to turn left and right. So we're following a, an area of route in Sheffield and as I come to each junction I'll talk through everything that I'm going to do on the approach to the junction. And as we see things like the guys walking in the middle of the road, obviously steering around past them, keeping a nice width, checking my mirrors first. Now, junction at the end of the road, I want to turn left. So it's mirrors, centre and left, left door signal. As a signal left, slowing down, braking gently, clutch down over to second, can't see out the end of the road. So back into first gear, checking left and right, can see it's safe. So I roll the merge, back onto the gas, clutch up as I get away second gear. Now in the distance I can see some traffic lights, green at the moment. I'm checking my centre mirror to make sure and as they change I'm braking nicely, braking towards the stop, clutch down, back straight into first gear ready for the stop, handbrake, reset my feet. So I've got biting point, I'm over my gas ready, I'm waiting for the lights to change. As I see the lights change it's handbrake down, back on the gas, gently clutch up, follow the road away, up into second gear, car gets away and into third. Following the road ahead we've got a blind corner in front of me so I'm checking to make sure that it's appearing safe, checking my mirrors now I've seen the obstructions ahead and easing off my gas. I'm going to let the car start to slow and braking gently on my way into the corner, see the oncoming traffic I'm braking some more I'm clutching down back to second to try and deal with the narrower gap between all these parked cars. Remembering with parked cars on both sides of the road, nobody has priority. So if we have something big coming towards the gap in front of us, like a lorry or a bus for example, we might have to stop and give way. So I'm checking ahead again, I'm looking at the road in the distance, but pedestrians on the pavement, some of which are in the road, checking my right hand side door mirror to come a little bit wider past parked cars. As I'm checking ahead, I'm watching the guy emerge from the petrol station, see him pull out straight in front of us, having to brake for him, off my brake back towards the gas. Now looking at the road ahead, you can see a road sign telling me that all traffic must go to the left. So there's a sharp bend left, following the road around. When we come around the corner, we don't know what's around the corner, I'm braking gently. I see traffic lights in front of me, I'm turning right, centre, right door mirror, right signal braking gently, clutch down, back over to second just in case, into first gear just as the car stops, and I've stopped before the cycle box you'll notice, the red cycle box on the floor in front of us, must keep that clear at all times, so we've stopped before the advanced stop line, I'm waiting to turn right, I'm checking the road junction ahead and I'm looking at the traffic lights, I'm in first gear, I've got my handbrake on, as I'm going to prepare, it will be biting point and then over the gas ready to set up to pull away. Biting point, over the gas, handbrake down, more gas, gently clutch released, into second as we pull away, we've got a nice long junction. Turning to the new road, I see some bus signs for the bus lane, and the bus lane is only in operation early morning, early evening. I've got a person trying to emerge here, so we're stopping to check. And then as we pull away, the bus lane signs tell us it's only in operations from the morning rush hour period and in the evening rush hour period, so all other times we can use it. So I'm staying in this bus lane. Red traffic lights ahead, checking the centre mirror, braking gently. As I'm braking, clutch down back to second just in case. Clutch down back to first as I stop the car. Brake full stop before the white line. Handbrake on, off the foot brake, over towards the gas. Clutch is down at the moment, I'm waiting at the traffic lights. I can see at the traffic lights that the green man has just gone off, so they will be changing shortly. So I'm going to feel my biting point as I set up ready, and I'm going to be over the gas ready as the lights change. Gas in, clutch up, handbrake down, more clutch up, more back on the gas, into second. Follow my lane through, and I'm staying in second to deal with the corner, I'm trying to keep to my lane and up into third, checking traffic lights ahead still green, check centre mirror just in case they change. Following the road through, as I come up, red traffic lights ahead I've seen in the distance, centre mirror check, braking, 
braking, clutch down, back to second, braking, clutch up, braking, clutch down, looks like we're going to stop back to first, off the foot brake to catch it on the roll, biting point, gentle gas, right signal, turning right at these traffic lights from this lane, run a one way circuit, braking, see the traffic ahead, brake, clutch down, back to first, full stop, handbrake, off the foot brake, over the gas, as the traffic pulls away, clutch biting point, back on the gas, as I pull away, recheck all my mirrors, just in case anything's come up from behind me, like a motorbike or a moped rider, following the road ahead, getting up through my gears, getting to third, I can see in the distance already some red traffic lights, as I come up towards the red traffic lights, I'm braking, centre mirror check because I'm braking, braking, clutch down, straight back round into first gear, brake full stop, hand brake, off the foot brake, over the gas ready, clutch to the biting point as I see the traffic moving off in front, hand brake down, recheck my mirrors as I pull away, gas in, clutch up, up and running into second, checking the mirrors again as I pull away, making sure I'm nicely up to date with what's going on behind us, red traffic lights ahead of pedestrian crossing, off my gas, check mirrors, clutch down, brake on, brake, brake, brake off, let the car roll back into first, brake full stop. I'm stopping wherever I can see the tyres on the vehicle in front of me on the tarmac. That way I'm keeping a nice little bit of a gap in case there's any problems. If that vehicle breaks down or can't get away for any reason, I've got enough room to pull out from behind him. I'm setting up now as I see the traffic pull away, biting point, gas ready, handbrake down, check mirrors as I pull away, bit more gas, into second gear, check in and following the road away. Busy traffic, up into third. I'm trying to keep a nice gap between me and the car in front, so I've got plenty of reaction time. Checking the centre mirror on a regular basis every time I see them brake in front. More brakes now, look. Clutch down, more brakes, back to second. Clutch down, back to first. Braking, letting the car roll up on and off my foot brake gently. I'm stopping, full stop handbrake. I've got tyres on tarmac of the vehicle in front of me. I've got a nice gap, I've off my brake over to the gas ready, I'm seeing the cars pull away in front, so I clutch to the biting point, back on the gas, quick check in my mirrors, handbrake down, more gas, clutch up, away and into second, checking the road ahead, away and into third, I've got third gear now, following the road ahead, keeping a nice gap again, so I've got plenty of reaction time in front, not getting too close together, not getting too bunched in the traffic. Checking the traffic lights, they've been green for a while, so centre mirror check just in case. Following the road ahead, and as we come up now, I can see a board for Big Junction. I want to go straight ahead, second exit. I'm staying in my lane, checking centre mirror over to the brakes as everybody slows down in front. Clutch down back to second, clutch up, clutch down, braking gently, push to first, stopping with tyres on tarmac, handbrake, off the foot brake. I'm over the gas ready and I'm just watching the traffic flow in front. Through the windows of the car in front, I can see the traffic lights changing at the junction. So I'm feeling the biting point, over the gas, handbrake down, check mirrors as I pull away, centre and right door mirror, up into second gear, staying in my lane as I follow the junction through. Green traffic lights on this roundabout, but there's several sets look, so I'm checking ahead, and at each set I'm checking the centre mirror, just in case I have to stop suddenly, like at that set, with clutch straight away down, back to first, brake full stop handbrake. At the junction I can see the opposing signal opposite from me on my right, you can't see it on the video, and I can see their lights are changing so I'm preparing again. As I pull away, check my mirrors again as I pull away up into second, next left to exit, left door mirror, left signal to come off the roundabout into my lane. As I leave, cancel signal, up into third gear, following the road ahead, around the red zone on the floor, checking the left door mirror to come back into lane, Lights, check centre mirror. They've been green for a while, so always check your centre mirror just in case you have to stop suddenly. Checking the road ahead, we've got more red traffic lights. Centre mirror check. I'm easing off my gas to allow the car to start to slow on the approach. I'm braking gently as I have a van behind me. Braking gently on and off to flash my brake lights at him. Clutch down back to second just in case. Braking gently off the brake, clutch back up, catch in second because I'm still rolling following the one-way signs I have to turn right 
As we come round to the next junction, traffic lights, I want to turn right, so mirror check, centre right, right signal, brake, clutch down, clutch up, catch it on the roll again in second, following the road around to the right. In the new road, I'll be finding somewhere to park in a moment, so as I come round the corner, I'm checking for parking spaces on my left, see the parking space I want at the end after the mini, I'm going to check mirror, centre and left and signal, slowing down, clutch down back to first to help me guide the car in, using first gear clutch control to steer into the parking space. As I steer in, I'm just using the clutch control ever so gently in first, lining the car up for a stop, and I'm just going to reverse it back gently just to give myself a nice bit of room to see out at the end where I wish to go, and I'm going to come to a full stop. So in that episode there, we've dealt with several junctions of different types, but the main approach was always the same. Check mirrors, centre and the relevant door mirror, depending on which way you're turning at the junction. Give a signal in good time, but not too early, that it could be confused with you joining another side road before yours, or turning into a driveway or stopping. As you slow down, come back to second gear to give you an opportunity. Clutch up, slow down further. If you can't see at the end of the road, or you know you have to stop like red traffic lights, for example, clutch down again and come back to first, ready for the stop. On full stopping, use your handbrake in order to reset yourself ready for the move away. As you move away, a good tip is to recheck your mirrors as you're pulling away to make sure nothing has come up from behind you in the queue that's likely to want to try and overtake quickly. For example, motorbike, moped rider, or even a cyclist that may be coming up on the left-hand side and wishing to come up on the left of you just prior to you wanting to turn left. Thank you, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll be doing several more, all to do with junctions and looking at test routes in the Sheffield area. This has been Ian at SIDS Driving School, that's Sheffield Independent Driving School. You can find us online at www.sheffield-independent-driving-school.com. Thank you.